This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, October the 13th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it looks like we've got some moisture increasing and rain on the way. There's a look at the Skycam image this morning from Mount Chiha. A nice, beautiful shot of uh, some sunlight coming th uh, th uh, across the eastern horizon, and we can also see some low clouds down there in the valleys. Um, not not any clouds at the Chiha level, but certainly some clouds above that. We can also see clouds at Tuscaloosa. So uh, there is a patch of clouds moving across uh, parts of northern and northwestern and north central Alabama. On the surface map this morning, we're dealing primarily with high pressure. And as that high pressure has moved off to our east, it's going to allow moisture to be increasing. And that means that uh, we'll see the development of a front in the central plains that will move our way and bring us some rain. In the upper atmosphere, we're dealing with that trough that's been uh, off the southwest uh, as a closed low. It was off southwest California. It's uh, coming across the Four Corners area now as a open, open trough and will be moving fairly quickly into the uh, Great Lakes area over the next uh, couple of days. Temperatures surging uh, warmth uh, up ahead of that uh, system. And uh, you can see temperatures uh, at 5 a.m., generally in the 70s across much of Texas, so very warm. And uh, across the southeastern U.S., we're dealing primarily with the 60s. In central Alabama, we still have a few spots that have dipped into the 50s, but a lot of locations in the lower 60s. The uh, QPF, we're not going to see a great deal of rain with this system, and it looks like maybe a little bit better, um, uh, well, because of the nature of showers, we're not going to get a widespread rain, but uh, it looks like we will get at least uh, some some good shot and then a second shot coming later in the week that uh, will be even more scattered than this one. For your uh, Storm Prediction Center's outlooks, the slight risk now extends from all the way from the central Rio Grande River Valley across uh, central Texas and the Red River Valley up across uh, the eastern two-thirds of Oklahoma and into Iowa. So a nice swath of uh, severe weather threat there. That severe weather threat actually moves our way on uh, day two, which would be Sunday, and we see a slight risk over parts of the Ohio River Valley and uh, down into extreme northwestern uh, Alabama and the northern uh, oh third or so of Mississippi. And then by day three, which would be Monday, we end up with uh, just a sea text primarily in the uh, eastern Carolinas. And the tropics have become more active. Uh, Patty becoming more of a remnant low now, so not uh, likely to develop into anything further. And in the meantime, Rafael is out there uh, in the uh, approaching Puerto Rico, and we have a forecast that takes it like this with uh, some um, tropical storm watches in effect for uh, Puerto Rico and parts of the Virgin and Leeward Islands over there, expected to move uh, generally northward with a slight northward trend becoming more northerly and then northeasterly as uh, it moves up across the Atlantic and will affect Bermuda. Our morning 06 EGFS model run, and uh, this is for Sunday, so this is tomorrow, and uh, we are seeing moisture increasing, of course, but there's that uh, trough that is moving up into the Great Lakes from the Four Corners area where it is positioned today. And that will be associated with a surface low that is positioned in the vicinity of Chicago by tomorrow at midday, dragging a cold front into the Mississippi River Valley and down into uh, southeast Texas. By um, Monday, uh, the trough will deepen up, so it will uh, intensify just a bit. And as it does, we'll see that front move on through. So it looks like right now the best timing for weather for us will come primarily Sunday evening and into the morning hours of Monday, although some showers could uh, linger into Monday morning. But I think by noon we'll see improving conditions. That fairly strong trough moves quickly off to, into, to the east coast. And as it does, we get under a bit of a northwesterly uh, flow, but that northwesterly flow not particularly strong, so you see most of the uh, air coming out of the Pacific, so more maritime air. So we cool down, but we don't get really cold, so we're looking at like 40s for lows and 70s for highs. That northwesterly uh, fetch kind of stays with us on Wednesday as we watch another trough drop in from uh, Canada, drop into the north central United States, and that will form a pretty strong trough over the central plains stretching from a closed low over 
the Great Lakes uh, down into Oklahoma. And, of course, with that, we'll see a cold front out ahead of that with a surface low again uh, into the Great Lakes. And so it looks like we'll see another front uh, with the possibility of rain on Thursday. And as I say, this one doesn't look uh, – moisture has a little trouble returning very much. So as a result, uh, look for more scattered uh, showers than anything else. That uh, trough comes by on Friday, so we should be – Improving on Friday as we head into the weekend, and of course for uh, Saturday, the trough is off to uh, just to our east. So again, a slight northwesterly flow, which keeps us pleasant. It doesn't keep us in anything extreme, and we can always deal with that. Now, going out into voodoo country, uh, we, we see a change. That is, we come more under a ridge around Tuesday, the 23rd, uh, so that looks like dry weather for the... Uh, first part of voodoo country and then as we head into the latter part of voodoo country that ridge breaks down in response to a fairly significant trough that is likely to be bringing us some wet weather toward the end of October. Uh, so it looks like, you know, maybe, I don't know if you can say Halloween's going to be wet, but certainly it looks like uh, we're going to see another rain event before the end of October. Well, I appreciate you tuning in. I wanted to mention that I'm down in Selma at the Alabama Tale Telling Festival, enjoying the tales and stories from Dolores Hydock and Carmen Didi, and also some great music from the Dill Pickers. If you're in the Birmingham area, of course, you can see them on a regular basis at Virginia Samford Theater. But uh, great entertainment last night. If you have a chance to get down to Selma this evening, uh, the uh, uh, amateur storytelling starts around 5.30, and then we have uh, the main performances from 7 to about 9.30, and it's great storytelling. Well, thanks for tuning in. I'll have the next Weather Extreme video posted uh, first thing Sunday morning, at least by 8 a.m. or so. In the meantime, I hope that your Saturday is a good one. Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.